Hi friends, in this tutorial, uh, I will transfer uh, this website to Easyweek hosting. So, currently, uh, this site is on cloud hosting. So, now I will move this site to Easyweek. So, there are some uh, requirements uh, you have to, uh, your site have to, m must be. Uh, approved by isoic and when it's approved by isoic and you'll find an options uh, i mean wordpress op uh, hosting options visible for this site like from the uh, your sites and then settings and make sure name server is integrated properly and when everything is correct you, you will notice these options wordpress hosting uh, by easy and then click start get started so before doing this uh, i uh, we need to first uh, to back up our site so dashboard and then plug in add new, add new. So, to transfer this site, I will mm, use free Updraft Plus uh, plugin. So, Updraft search. So, this plugin, Updraft Plus WordPress backup plugin. So, install now. And activate. Okay, so so now from settings back to updraft plus backup and we have to backup now this site so click backup now so include you your database in the backup include your files I mean files means uh, theme plugins and uh, up upload files i mean image and rest of the things so click uh, backup now so it can take some time so we need to wait okay so update is uh, finished so we can see the updating here so at first we need to download this backup to our local so i um, click database to download so download in my computer and it's a uh, start to download and then in plugins same download to computer Now let's start and then themes okay so it's ready to download to download to computer same is uploads and others as well Okay, so click download to computer. So you can see uh, all of our files are downloaded. So check in, show in finder. You can see uh, five uh, folder. I mean others folder and uh, others uploads, themes, plugins, and database. Okay, so now. Uh, I close this and now I go to uh, Isweek and then settings and as I mentioned before make sure our name server is fully propag fully propagated and uh, it's pointed to uh, Isweek uh, 
and then now in the later part you can see wordpress hosting so now we get started and then there is two options so it is transfer site and then create new site so i choose create new site and then click continue confirm and now it's beginning new site setup so see setup status so it's uh, first allocating resources it's in progress and then creating a blank wordpress site and then finalizing wordpress setup so it can take some time so i'll be i'll back when this process is finished Well, all the uh, necessary installation st uh, steps is uh, done and we found this page which is in overview tab uh, we found uh, our wordpress hosting is ready to publish and in here we found the manage credential and then content settings here you can see php version uh, we can change uh, it if you want to upgrade uh, or downgrade so i uh, keep this default 7.4 so now in overview um, settings you have to click you need to click preview site so and turn on preview because we need to first uh, it's uh, only for uh, me and site owners or if you transfer a client site it's only it's uh, only visible for you so okay so i turn on preview if you uh, look at uh, the test staging you can see the we are in staging mode Okay, so to login side, we need to in URL we have to type WP admin, then we will found in login page, but from here close and then manage credential we have to in, in bottom part we have temporary wordpress credential so i copy the username so paste it here and from password i copy this password and then in password field i entered first password and click login okay so now uh, I am successfully logged in so first we need to update uh, the WordPress latest versions okay so WordPress uh, 6 is updated so now we need to uh, go back to plugins and add new and find updraft plus updraft plus and then install this plugin again and click activate and now uh, back to after plus backup 
and from their existing backups and upload backup files so and now select files so for what we need to do is download and then I select all of the files and click open so <clears throat> we can see Okay, so all of the files are uploading. Okay, so uh, all of the files are uploaded uh, and uh, our site is ready to restore. So now click restore button and check all of them. Click all of the settings because we want to restore plugin themes uploads and uh, include database and other files as well so now click next so then click uh, restore so okay, here is a restoring uh, restoration process progress is verifying our files so all of the things are complete so now we need to uh, log in our uh, you can see restore successful so we need to uh, log in our previous credential not temporary credential so I'm trying to okay so then password and then login so return to click return to Octra plus configurations so we can see uh, our site is uh, moved in is requesting so here is an option your backup has been restored uh, delete old directories so you have to delete uh, old directories and click delete old directories Okay, so now everything is done. Click, visit the site and click here. Yes, we can see all of the things are okay, and our site is fully uh, moved to this week. So now, still it in preview mode. Uh, if you if I want to uh, set our site live from this week, so we need to click set site live. So in here you can see uh, our uh, record type uh, which was this record type senior which was uh, this so we are about to point DNS to EZX server so now I have to confirm so click confirm Well, so we are finally live from Ezweek hosting. So, how we make sure? So, from settings and in DNS settings, <clears throat> you can see it was my previous hosting. So, and then the other register name server server. So, if I refresh this page. Let's see what happened. Okay, guys. Move to the DNS settings again. You can see uh, our mm, alias is now uh, what WP hosting is com and rest of this uh, DNS type, which is uh, now we can see our site is fully pointed to is hosting and is a name server so that's it that's it uh, i hope you found this useful
if you have any questions let me know in the comments thank you